Hello, happy 1st of October and welcome to another reading vlog. I'm excited for all the spooky books and movies I'm going to read and watch this month. Like, yes! Even though I'm still in lockdown, I'm hopefully going to get out of lockdown this month. And also, I'm just really in my book and movie vibes at the moment. Like, I'm just so excited about reading. I'm so excited about watching movies. So, honestly, it's fine. I just have really good vibes for this month. So, I'm currently in the middle of two books. So, I'm currently reading June and I'm on page 104. I'm listening to the audiobook and I'm obviously going to make some more progress, hopefully this week, but definitely this month. And I'm really enjoying this book, but I am enjoying, like, taking it slow. So, I don't think I'm going to finish this, like, super quickly, but I'm definitely here for the ride. Stunning audiobook. Yep. And I'm currently watching Love Island UK season five for the first time. So if I'm getting ready and stuff, like that's what I'm watching. So hopefully when I finish that soon, I can get back to listening to more of my audiobook. I'm also currently reading Wuthering Heights, but I only read the first page. So like, but yeah, I started reading this last night because I was talking to Caitlin and I was like, I'm kind of in the mood to read a classic. And Caitlin really wants me to read Wuthering Heights because she thinks I'm gonna love it. And obviously I've been wanting to read it for years. And I just thought, you know what, I should make the most of this current mood that I'm in where I want to read a classic because that's not often that I feel in that mood. And also this obviously has like gothic vibes and stuff. And obviously I've only read one page, but I'm really excited to continue. But yeah, like hopefully I love it. And then today I'm going to start my reread of Bunny by Mona Award. One of my favorite books, read it last year for the first time. This is also my Patreon Bunny Read book for the month. So I'm going to film a spoiler filled vlog for everyone there. But yes, I literally just can't wait and i'm going to be buddy reading this with obviously everyone on my patreon but also caitlin so i think we're going to facetime soon we're going to start reading it together can't wait to go on this journey again and after we read for a bit we're also going to re-watch scream to just really set the tone for october you know so i'm very excited like are you kidding rereading bunny then watching scream like perfect and it's been a few years since caitlin has watched scream so i am just so ready for all the spooky fun vibes but first i'm going to just like clean up a bit because i have like books on the floor i need to answer some emails and stuff so i'm going to do that and then start reading bunny with caitlin and obviously watch screen later on so very excited I don't think I've updated, but I have gotten up to page 50, I think, of Bunny. Or is it 47? And I'm just loving it. I definitely took my time reading those first 47 pages because there's just so much, like, 
foreshadowing. This is just the best book to reread because obviously like once you know the story and everything that happens and you come up with your own interpretations slash theories, it's very interesting to try to find the evidence to back up those theories. And obviously I'm not going to say because spoilers, but very interesting and I've annotated a lot. Well, re-annotated because obviously it was already annotated the first time. It's oh, just so fun. I also read a little bit more of June when I was getting ready today and I'm on page 136. Don't really have anything new to say, still enjoying it. But I'm going to do a Dead by Daylight stream now with Caitlin and Kaz. So I'm very excited for that. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, so it's Sunday and I've just spent the morning finishing my Scream rewatch with Caitlin. And obviously I already knew I love that movie. I watched it so many times, but it truly is just the best movie of all time. Like it's so good. So I had the best time rewatching that. And then I read a little bit more of Bunny. I'm on chapter 13 now. And literally like, this is probably one of my most annotated books. I'm just having the best time rereading this. It's just the best book of all time, once again. Like, this needs to be a movie. It could be so stunning. It could be like a similar vibe to Jennifer's body. I need it. I like I haven't talked to you in ages <laughs> um, because this week has been so busy. I've had so many things going on in my personal life and also just like so much work I've been doing. A little stressed to be honest. <laughs> and I haven't read in so long it feels. I think it's been like a week. <laughs> I just want to read more funny. I'm on page 103 and I thought about it every day thinking I just want to read you. But I'm finally going to sit down and read some now with Caitlin on FaceTime. Thank God. <laughs> and then I'm also doing a Fortnite stream soon. So that will be fun and that will be really satisfying because like I said, I'm stressed. I just have way too much on my plate right now. And tomorrow I'm going to go to the park with my friend Tess and sit down and read. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to just like fully de-stress and everything. And I'm so happy because restrictions are easing on Monday. If you didn't know, I've been in lockdown for like three plus months. Yeah, I mean, I think I was really going crazy today because of that, but things are looking good. Oh, also, I wanted to say that this arrived, Gone Girl. This is on my Toby TBR, so I'm definitely going to start this soon. I don't know if I'll start it this week, but probably next week. Very excited to read this, and it's actually kind of sad because I feel like I won't be doing as much reading as I thought this month because I have so many things to do this month. I've also been, like, redecorating around the house. For ages, I didn't really put energy into decorating the house and stuff, but I finally am starting to redecorate a bit, change things up, make things more my own, and and it feels really good. So I'm definitely going to show you around and take you on my redecorating journey. I'm very excited to show you more home decorating content because I love decorating my place and everything. You can expect that soon. Hello, I've just gotten ready. It's the next day and I'm about to film a video, but I wanted to obviously give you some reading updates. So yesterday, I think I read like two chapters of Bunny, but I got up to part two and I'm very excited because this is when it just gets like absolutely insane and I love it. Like the last chapter, chapter 14, one of the best chapters of all time. It's just insanity and horror comedy gold and I just love it. And I was actually saying to Caitlin that I feel like this is just the perfect book for us because it's silly goofy vibes, but there's a lot of depth when you actually dissect it and analyze the text. And that is just what I love. Like, oh, I actually can't get over how much I love this book. Like, there was a point where I was reading where I was literally about to combust with love. Like, because I was just like, my mind's blown because the fact that this book has so many layers. And obviously, I just love this book so much. Like, the power of literature, as Kevin would say. Also, I painted my nails Jennifer's body vibes and it completely matches the cover of Bunny, which I love. But yeah, then I did my Fortnite stream. It was really fun. And then I actually started reading a bit more of Withering Heights. I think I mentioned how I read like the first page. And now I'm on chapter three, so page 19. And obviously like, you know, 
I haven't read too much and it is quite a slow start but already I'm really loving the vibes like I'm really loving the writing I'm really loving the atmosphere and I feel like it's a silly goofy time and I said that to Kaylin and she's like no that's what it is like all the characters are silly and goofy and all chaotic and that's just what I love so I'm really here for this for example you scandalous old hypocrite are you not afraid of being carried away bodily whenever you mention the devil's name I warn you to refrain from provoking me or I'll ask your abduction as a special favor exactly silly goofy girl boss I really am loving this and honestly I'm loving the writing like obviously lots of classics have a specific dense writing style I used to be like oh no thank you but maybe I'm entering my hag era of really loving and appreciating this kind of writing because I'm really here for it and maybe this is the start of a new classics journey so you just never know but also I was saying that to Caitlin and she's like obviously it's key to find the right classics for you and obviously Caitlin recommended this to me because she's like I really think you'll love it so honestly I'm just gonna go to Caitlin and ask what classic I should be next but yeah like exactly look at me reading a classic and loving it obviously once again, I'm really in chapter 3, <laughs> so we'll see. But I am going to the park after this, like after I finish filming, and I'm going to read more of this. I'm very excited. And also, Caitlin said that once you get to like a third of the way through the book, that's when you really get hooked and stuff. So if I'm already like loving it now, like I have high hopes that I'm going to really love this book. But anyway, I'm going to film my video now, so talk to you later. Sorry, one more thing. I decided that instead of showing you like my home updates in my vlog, I'm going to start a new video where I show you me redecorating and stuff because I realize that I'm making a lot of changes so it should just be its own separate video. But yeah, very excited for that. Sure. Saya. Me. What's this? Day. Go. Go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at the park with Tess <laughs> and Zaya, her dog, and I'm actually um godmother. the godmother, no offense. Isn't he cute? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do some reading. Obviously we have some yummy lunch and bubble tea as well. So I'm going to continue reading Weathering Heights. And what are you gonna read? Oh, the Spanish love deception. Uh, yeah. I'm making Tess read this. There were three okay. chapters in. I'll report back. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Shake. <laughs> Just nose tap. Tap. <laughs> and then he should also do chin. Chin. <laughs> oh, you want to be friends now, eh?
Okay, so I am back from the park now and I actually got up to page 75 of Wuthering Heights and I am still loving this. I'm just really here for the vibes and it is a something a few time. Like, I honestly have quite a few purple tabs and purple means it's a funny moment. And yeah, I'm just really loving the writing and the gothic vibes. I feel like October is a perfect time to read this book. I honestly can't wait to continue reading. Like, literally, who am I? I never would have thought I'd enjoy a classic this much. And the fact that I haven't even gotten into, like, the meat of the story, like, I feel like a new woman. But anyway, so yes, very excited to read more. I probably will try to read more tonight. But I'm actually going to eat, have a shower and all that. And then I'm going to read more of Bunning with Caitlin on FaceTime. So very excited for that. And then I need to edit. So if I have time after that, I will read more of Withering Heights. But yeah, just exactly. It was so good to go to the park again as well because going to the park, chilling out by the lake and reading is honestly one of my favorite things in the world and I haven't done it in a while so I just felt like so refreshed and I have been feeling like not myself over the past few days and I just feel like oh I'm finally centered back to feeling like myself and a lot of my stress has gone. I'm just so excited to be out of lockdown because just getting out of the house is key <laughs> for my sanity <laughs> and obviously a lot of people's sanity but yeah anyway I will talk to you later. It is Sunday. I'm wearing Jamie's vest that she left here and Jamie actually, well I sent her a photo of me wearing this and then she's like, I hope you realize you're wearing an iconic Jamie look. But I have some reading updates for you all. I've spent a lot of yesterday and today cleaning and organizing around the house and stuff. So I was listening to music and I was like, no offense, I kind of want to listen to my audiobook. So I listened to a bit more of the June audiobook and then I was like, no offense, I want to listen to a different vibe at the moment. So I was looking through my Audible list and I had The Midnight Library by Matt Haig downloaded because it came for free if you were like an Audible member, I think like two months ago. And I've heard really good things about this book. I didn't really know much about it. So I was like, you know what, let's just try it. Finished it. Loved it. I love this book. It was so beautiful. Um, basically, if you don't know, it's about this woman who has really severe depression and wants to die. And I think a few hours before her death, she is taken to this midnight library. And basically in this library, it's like a place between life and death. And you can try on different lives that you could have possibly had so like alternate dimensions so if you made this different choice this is how your life would turn out and i find that stuff so fascinating i always think how the smallest decision you make can really alter the course of your life so i knew i was gonna love this book and i really loved the message of the book it's saying like you can't live with regrets and stuff and you just have to like be in the moment and make the most of your life now and stuff and oh just beautiful and obviously lots of stunning discussions on mental health yeah i just really really loved it definitely a quick read as well i think it's like Oh my god, that's a weed car. <laughs> I think it's like 200 and something pages, so really short. And obviously the audiobook was like a few hours. So yeah, I wasn't really planning to read that, but I loved it. And I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. And I also have some updates on my other books that I'm reading. So I read a little bit more of Bunny and Withering Heights since we last spoke. For Withering Heights, I'm on page 118. I actually had a Patreon live show this morning and I was reading. That's why I'm in the middle of a chapter. Disgusting, but anyway. Yeah, so page 118, I am loving this and i don't know if i mentioned but i'm buddy reading this with caitlin too and it's so fun because she loves this book so she's rereading it and it's just so fun because this is such a unique vibe it's like silly goofy chaotic dramatic gothic heartbreaking serious like it's such a stunning blend of so many things that i love and yeah it's a really unique vibe and atmosphere that has been created and i love it and i got to this stunning line whatever our souls are made of his and mine are the same and also i've dreamt in my life dreams that have stayed with me ever after and changed my ideas they've gone through and through me like wine through water and altered the color of my mind 
wow like i am so excited caitlin was telling me some other classics that i should look into after this because i am in my classics era my classics era so if you have any other recommendations for me based on you know my taste and me loving weathering heights etc please let me know what other classics i should get into because it's a vibe but obviously i still need to finish it i will probably read some more later tonight who knows but i know for sure i'm going to be reading more of bunny because i'm about to face some caitlin so we can do some more reading of bunny but i'm on page 135 and i am loving this book even more this time around obviously i loved it the first time but honestly it kind of feels like i'm reading a whole different book because once you read the book the first time and then you reread it you see things entirely differently and reading this through that different lens it's so interesting and you realize just how many layers the story has it's not just like a silly goofy chaotic time like obviously there is the silly goofiness and it is hilarious but there's also a lot to unpack and honestly i could read like so many essays on this book it's just a masterpiece like mona wad is genius like i actually can't get over it and this is definitely one of my top top books of all time like you know really high up there like it is just everything that i love and Caitlin made a really good point that it's also like a commentary on how society views women and really hyper feminine women. And oh, I just love it. Like, it's stunning. Anyway, so I'm gonna read some more with Caitlin now. Then I'll probably end the vlog later today. So I have been reading and I'm now on part three, which is page 219 of the book. So I don't have much left, but wow, like I just have so many thoughts of this book. Like literally look at my annotations. Like this is definitely one of my most annotated books ever. I just can't wait to reread it every year and just add to my annotations and add to my theories. This is just the most stunning book to buddy read. Like everyone in the Discord chat is talking about their theories and stuff and it is just amazing like this book is literally just such a joke with how amazing it is but anyway i'm going to end the vlog because not gonna lie i'm on my period and i feel disgusting i need to just relax i'm not gonna read any more today so yeah i will start a new vlog tomorrow and i will see you soon thank you so much for watching this video if you're looking for more content for me i have a patreon where i upload extra content like extra reading vlogs we do a monthly live show we do a monthly buddy read etc i have all my socials linked below including my twitch which is twitch.tv slash game with chloe thank you so much for watching this video i hope you're all having a good day or night and i'll see you in my next one.